It's noon, it's Friday, and it's time for Festival Wine. Okay, I got, I'm gonna put away my six foot stick right now because I am so excited to be here. We're so excited to be here. And the way I always start this Festool Live segment is introducing the great people that are in this room. On this camera is Big D. Right here, off uh, running all the other cameras, is Chris. In the room today, working the whiteboard, is Brent Shively, our other trainer here in North America and Lebanon, Indiana. On the phone, I mean on the phone, online, we have our other two trainers, Steve Bass and Alan Kensley. We also have a special guest, hey Jason, from Vents Woodworking, he's on there. Uh, the one person I didn't call last week, and I want to call it again, because he's the guy kind of running all of us. His name is Philip Strenad. Hopefully I said it right, Philip. And he is our administrator slash manager on this project, and he is doing a fantastic job. I want to let you know once again, we are open for business here at Festool. We are keeping safe. We're wearing masks. Okay, we're making sure we maintain our social distancing, just like we hope you are. We are all going to get through this together. And from Festool, we hope everybody is safe and healthy. And don't forget to use your hand sanitizer. All right, I think I covered everything. Um, I just want to also make a point as I look at my whiteboard. It's really important to keep up with our social on Twitter. Festool underscore USA on our Instagram, uh, Festool USA on our Facebook, because we will be making announcements on more Festool Lives and where to see them. At this time next week, we just got our new equipment in. You're going to see a better production quality. And hopefully next week we're on YouTube Live next Friday. But this Monday, this episode will be on YouTube. And we've been seeing some great views on there. Okay. Whew. Wow, Brent, that's cool. We got people. Hey, Mexico, Morocco, I want to shout out. Thanks for watching. Here we go. Of course, our focus today, I think you all figured it out. You probably see it in the background, our huge foam impact driver, the TID-18. But I want to, through a demonstration, talk about a top question we get day in, day out here at Festival as a trainer, okay? And then we'll lead into the impact. Bear with me. You'll see where I'm trying to uh, get to. All right. Let's come on over. We have 18 volt drills. And we have, and you'll see this. We are so well known for our C style drill. And we have a T style drill. So what's the difference? How do you choose between the two? So I always start like this. Think about this. Have you ever used an electric drill? Of course you have, okay? Have you ever seen an electric drill that had the T-style shape? Okay, so the original cordless drills emulated, they were stem drills or stem battery drills, they were pistol grip. In working up on ladders, we had to use holsters to put them in, okay? And, but they were, they were T-style, I mean pistol style. So the problem was, is you had a holster and they didn't, what, stand up on the bench. Okay, but the reason you have a pistol grip is because of inline pressure. Think about this. I'm going to run a screw, okay, and think about when you run a screw like this, okay? Look where I'm holding it, in the back. You'll see this on drywall guns as well. There's actually grooves in here, but this is how you run a screw. It's one-handed. That's why a C drill, that's why electric drills are like built like that, corded drills. Okay, and you see how I'm running that. Okay, but think about this, everybody. You see how that torqued a little in my hand? Hmm. Leading into something. So, T style, okay? Yes, more comfortable in the hand, I think. Okay, I can grip it right here. It's nice and small here. But think about this. Say I'm running a screw like this. Okay, same way. Okay, but if I start to hesitate, I, I need more pressure. My hand's off a ladder if I'm up high or I'm in an awkward spot, I'm trying to get it in there, okay? I'm back to two hands, okay? But the nice thing about a T-drill, it sits right up on a, a bench like that, okay? And doesn't fall forward like a, a pistol grip. Hopefully that explained it. That's why I personally have always gone 
to a C drill. It's just, it's more comfortable in my hand and I get all that behind the drill pressure, inline pressure. It's a one-handed drill. Then what happened, <laughs> and check it out, T-style, but the impact made the T-style a one-handed drill. Think about it, everybody. By the way, I'd be willing to bet out there a lot of you have impacts. And some of you may be considering an impact, okay? And this is why we wanted to talk about this today. Because say I'm working in a position like this and hopefully you can get in here. Come on in here, cameraman. Look, I am towing this screw in and say I'm down on the ground. I can't get a two hands on a T-drill, but boy, I can put a screw in really easy because an impact makes it a one-handed drill. The impact uh, does the work for you. Also, say I'm gonna sister this in, this two by like this, and I'm towing in a screw up above, and hopefully I'm explaining this properly to you guys. Uh, this is, look, look, say I'm, I'm on a ladder and I'm doing this. Man, if this is a normal key drill, I'm on two hands trying to get some pressure on this, especially if it's the longest screw. But look at the impact. Wow. Oh my God, that was a T18, I'm sorry. I'm gonna grab the impact. That's the power of the T18, baby, but check this out. Okay, look how I can put that right in there like this. And with an impact, you can feather it in. Absolutely perfect. Now, somebody's going to ask about the power, okay, on the impact. First thing I'm going to show you with the impact, maybe we can get a good close-up of this, is you're going to see this little knurl. There's some good knurling on this. And as I pull it forward, I'm going to pull this out. First thing you're going to notice on the impact, it's the traditional hex groove with the short tip. Unlike our central tech system, I'm going to grab one over here, which sits back in the chuck. Okay? And somebody earlier this week when I did a post on Instagram asked, why did you go to this style? And I posed a question to that person. You probably have hundreds of these in your toolboxes. We didn't want to, we wanted to appeal to the broad market of people with this impact that already have these, we didn't want to have to make you go and buy our central tech. Eventually you may work into that central tech, especially when you start to see how we've packaged the impact. You're gonna be able to buy this nine different ways at killer prices. Go online or go to your local Festool dealer and you'll see all the prices. Nine different packages we have put this together or nine different ways, okay? When I take this, and this is sweet too, I just push it in and it locks in. Okay, this is our new bit holder where I release it like this. I could just take that bit. We have onboard storage that's magnetic. It's an easy in and out. And you got plenty of storage right here. You're gonna notice there's a belt clip, comes with one, and you can put it on either side. Super easy. All right, now, I'm also gonna switch here my bit tip, I'm gonna put a little nut runner on there real quick. Okay, and somebody will say, hey, what's the power on there? Now, here's, hopefully we're getting this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hit the button. That's T mode. I will show you what T mode is. That's a differentiator. One, okay, is zero to 1200. Two is zero to 2000. And three is zero to 3500. Okay, oh, no, I'm sorry, 3200, absolutely. Brent, thank you. Okay, so when I put this in, I'm gonna use a small screw just to demonstrate this, and I'm gonna put it on 3200 and run the screw. The nice thing about this, it's bumping in, okay? It's spinning and hitting it like this. That's what an impact does, but it's an anti-kickback in there. So you're not gonna see, remember with the T18, I was twisting? this screw overhead that's a 14 inch screw think about that and if I have a bunch of these to run an impact gives you less fatigue I'm gonna save a ton of time because I'll have less downtime okay that's why an impact now I want to show you another another application that's kind of near and dear to my hat I'm gonna see if I have the bit tip 
Uh, I, hopefully I do. I'm going to see. Do I have it on here? Give me one second. I'm going to grab a Phillips bit around here. Oh, look. We're going to have all kinds of bit kits. Okay. These bit tips are impact rated. Okay. We have them like this. There'll be kits like this. Okay, just I want to show you our offering on the impact because we've done a really good job on this for you guys. Okay, uh, get my impact here, right here. I'm going to take this out, slip this back in, and I want you to notice this. <clears throat> See this screw? I truly believe this changed the industry. Any screw, if it's self-tapping, and look, see how there's little nibs right there? Okay, that is self counter sinking. So if you built cabinets before for a living, right, we always had two drills. Okay, we had, I always used the air drill to counter sink, then had a regular drill driver to run the screw. Now with an impact, and this is the part I want to show you, it's called feathering in. Check this out. I can start that screw, see how it's self tapping, and as I as I, whoopsie, I'll slow it down because that's a little too fast for me. All right. But, yeah, I'm going to that in, just like that, and it doesn't mushroom. So an impact with this screw saves you a full step in a lot of time. Excellent. <laughs> okay, I'm going to swing over here. And the re and the I, I truly believe there's two killer differentiators on this impact. One of them I'm going to show you right now. Okay, the other one I'll tell you about because you have this on all Festool tools. You have a three-year bumper to bumper warranty, wear and tear on all our tools. Think about how many impacts you might go through. All right, and think about this. It's not only the impact driver wear and tear, because this is a new generation motor. Okay, brushless, by the way. Okay, but <clears throat> it's also the batteries, and these are the new four point amp hour high power lithium ion. All right, through the brushless motor. By the way, the charger charges those batteries in 40 minutes. If, it's, if you've run the bat, uh, run them and the, it heats up, you're going to have a, about a, uh, if it's above 131 degrees Fahrenheit, it, it'll cool down and then take 40 minutes to charge. Think about that. So it comes with a TCL6 charger. That has a three-year warranty. Okay, camera and get in here. I'm going to switch this. I'm going to put it on Tebow. This is for fastening. I call these growing up zip screws. They're self-tapping. They have a hex on them. Okay, but hopefully, and I tell everybody, you got to get one of these because you have to feel the torque in there. It's roughly, it's 1,593 inch pounds, roughly 1,600 inch pounds of torque. Okay, you got to feel the speeds. But when I put it in T mode, it starts out at 3,200 and you're going to hear it slow down. It's easier to feel this. Okay, but check this out. I'm going to start it, okay? And hopefully the camera will get this. You're going to see it slow down. So I don't snap this and strip it. You still have to feather it, but check it out. See it slow down? I broke through. And I can feather it. I won't shear that. Say you're doing duct work. Or doing an aluminum fascia or something. Doing an aluminum roof, sanding seam roof. Or a metal roof. You don't break through. You don't shear those heads. That's why. And that's what T-Mode is. All right. How's everybody doing? Good. There's Brent. He's on the whiteboard. That's where we're at. Okay. First question. <laughs> I, look at, I look at what we put up there in the beginning. Okay. Hey, Robert, this one's for you. When I'm done here, I'm going for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, baby. All right. Okay. This first question, is this a good investment for someone who has a PDC? Absolutely. Okay. Now, I will tell you, there's going to be a combo kit with, if you need a PDC, quad drive, there's going to be a combo kit, okay, with the impact and the PDC. But think of what you do with a, a, P, a PDC. You're drilling concrete. 
right? So let's, let's walk over. I'm gonna grab the impact, okay? Say you're drilling some holes, right? With a PVC. Yeah, with a PVC, you can switch it out because you have central tech really quick, okay? After you drill the hole, right? But what are you gonna do? Okay, and this is a great, this is a great demonstration of this. I wouldn't put it in T mode, I might put it in one or two to run a tap con. Okay, and I can just take that, put the tap con in, and bump it in, and not shear it. Okay, so it is a killer investment if you have a PDC. Hey, everybody, I'm just gonna mention again, you'll be able to, say you have a, um, a PDC, two 18 volt batteries, those will work on here. We're just including the new high power batteries. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm looking at some of the questions coming in. Um, the, Brent just wrote down, what kind of pants are we wearing? Uh, the trainers at Festool, uh, we wear, uh, I'll say Duluth flex, flex, uh, flex hose. These are the most comfortable pants on the market. Hopefully uh, I didn't overstep by naming a brand. Okay, that's the question. I thought I was gonna get, and I, I think we're prepared in here. Impact versus hammer, okay? I thought about this last night, and I was like, <clears throat> there's a hundred ways we could describe it. And um, let, let me show you. Uh, I'll show you what <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night thinking about. Okay, so in impact, everybody will think, oh, I can use that to, uh, to uh, run a, um, uh, um, a concrete bit, okay? And if you look at a concrete bit, and this is a bit I wanna point out to you, okay? This is your traditional concrete bit, and there's a hammer drill, and there's a rotary hammer. You all know what a drill is, where the motion's like this. It's rotary, okay? That's a regular drill. A hammer drill, I need to vibrate that. Now, with a PDC, if I put on the PDC in drill mode, this is four speeds, okay? If I put it in drill mode, this is a great drill. And watch, what? I'll show you. And hopefully you can hear that. I'm not going into concrete that well. But what happens is when I switch this, okay? And you're gonna hear it and you'll actually see the movement of it, okay? You won't see anything now, but what happens is I put pressure on there, okay? I am slipping it back on a disc that has ridges. So I'm vibrating this. Okay, watch. And if you put that in four, that's 3,800 beats. That is the, that's a 3,800. That is the fastest hammer drill on the market, cordless. Now, I want to take this a different step. I want to take it to this. This is our... BHC, this is an SDS drive, stands for slot drive system. Okay, when I slip that in there, it's basically a rotary hammer. That describes hammer drill versus rotary hammer. Where a rotary hammer, everybody, is you have it spinning and the force is like this. Look, it's in line. Okay, same thing with this in line, but it's vibrating it. This is a more positive hit and you'll hear it. Listen, oopsie, I've got to put it on hammer, not just drill. Watch. Okay, and there you go. Okay, now, let's get to impact. Okay, instead of it spinning and hitting from behind, it's hitting to the side. Now, here's the best explanation I've ever heard talking about an impact. Okay, I saw this icon on this PowerPoint from Germany. And I said, that's the great way of saying it. It's spinning like a drill, but, I'm taking, and the impact is not this way. Look, I have a lag bolt here, and I have a wrench. As it's spinning, there's what we call dogs. Come in and hit it and turn it like this. Okay, so what you're doing is you're taking it, it's spinning, and you're going, the force is, for lack of better words, <laughs> tangential. And it's hitting, spinning, hitting, spinning. And that's the difference between hammer drill, rotary hammer, regular drill, and impact. And hopefully, I've explained that properly. Okay, so, whew, I'm looking at the board. We're doing good. There's no more questions coming in. 
Okay, I want to do a little bit of, oh, I want to call out, boy, we had Mexico and Morocco before, Lithuania, is that Solius? We have Colombia, the Netherlands, hey Wesley, we have Brazil, and I want to thank you. Also, I have to say this as a wrap up every single time, we're having a blast doing this. This is so much daggone fun. We love your comments. We love your questions. Feedback is unbelievable. Okay? Um, I, we would like to continue this. And uh, we're even talking about maybe twice a week eventually. So, please stay tuned. Hopefully next week we're on YouTube. We just got some killer equipment. And I personally want to thank you for tuning in.